What up though guys, it's your boy Stevie D here with a quick video for you today. So I just moved into my new studio space and one of the things I wanted to do was to get my seamless paper off the floor. So I've been looking at different systems on how to organize and store my backdrops. Uh, Savage has one, it's a foam uh, insert that you can use uh, to mount on the wall and store your backdrops there. Uh, I saw a video not too long ago on F-stoppers where the guy used a bungee and dial system. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. I think this is gonna work perfect. Um, hopefully it's something that you guys can use in your studio if you wanna store your backdrops. So follow me along. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm using, how it's gonna work for me, and hopefully um, it works out for you guys as well. So follow me along. So currently my backdrops are just kinda of like stood up against the wall at the moment and I'm going to mount those over here on this wall. Let me show you exactly what I'm going to use to mount them on the wall. So I went to Home Depot and I found these four inch plumbing couplers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount eight of these on this two by four at the top of the wall and then eight of them at the bottom of the wall. And I think that's gonna be able to hold the seamless paper. So I'm gonna space them about four inches apart. Um, and again, I can get eight of those uh, on this two by four. So the couplings are four inches and they actually cost me two bucks a piece. So it's pretty inexpensive. I already had the two by fours from another project where I mounted my modifiers on the wall using a few uh, J hooks that I got. So I'm gonna use that same two by four on this wall so I can mount the backdrop paper. So let me get started and get it going. So this stud finder right here, it's a lifesaver. So I, was, I use this to find the center of the stud. That way I can be spot on. So if you guys are looking for a stud finder, this is probably one of the best ones on the market. Again, it finds the center stud, which is what I have on the wall. Center studs. So those are the centers. I've already marked them. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to the stud and then nail it in the wall. So before I actually uh, install the two by fours on the wall, I'm going to drill some pilot holes uh, into the two by fours, just so it'll be easier for me to uh, attach to the wall. Since I'm up there by myself, really don't need to be fumbling around with these screws. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do some pilot holes um, on the two by fours before I put them on the wall.
So now that I have the two by fours on the wall, now I'm gonna install the four inch uh, coupling. And then uh, at first I was gonna space them out four inches, but I figure I'm gonna put them in close as I can. That way I can add more later if I wanna add more than eight backdrops. So I think that's the only change that I'm gonna make um, uh, to my little modification. Uh, I'm gonna keep them tight together. That way I can add more later. But first, I gotta get some water. It's hot in here. Now, that's what I call high quality H2O. Shout out to the Water Boy movie, if you didn't catch that reference. Go check it out, it's an excellent movie. Back to work. So I put the first one up there, but I think it's easier if I go ahead and start some pilot holes with these, just so I can just zoop, zoop, zip in there and uh, get it all out the way. Yeah, cause I don't wanna fall. If I fall, it's gonna be embarrassing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some pilot holes uh, on these couplings and then get back up there. So as you can see, I got the top row done. I got eight up there. And it definitely looks like I can probably add maybe three or four more if I want to add some more backdrops. So I'm kind of glad I did, um, you know, put them in closer instead of spacing them apart so far. So, you know, later on I can add more to it. So now I'm going to do the bottom row after I take another water break. But that's how the top looks so far. All right, guys, so I finally finished putting the top. I actually had to move the two by four up about three to four inches just so I can make sure the paper can actually go under and fit. Now, at first I was gonna put the couplings at the bottom, but I really don't think I need to put them down at the bottom. So I think I'm gonna keep it like it is. Um, the paper is in there, it's sturdy, it's tight, um, which is good so it doesn't fall out. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the rest of the backdrops up and let you guys see the finished product. All right guys, so I finished putting the five backdrops I have uh, on the wall. And this is actually how it looks. I think it turned out uh, pretty good. Again, I didn't use the bottom part. I didn't put the couplings down there. I may add it later on if I find that it's not as sturdy as I want it to be. But um, I think I'm really happy uh, with how it looks and uh, how it worked out. So again, I may, gonna, I may add a few uh, more couplings to the top. That way I can add, you know, more backdrops. I do have more colors, um, but this is actually how it came out. So I hope that this helped anyone who was looking to set up their backdrops in their studio or in their home. Um, this is a alternative way. It is very inexpensive and um, it worked out for me fine. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope I gave you some helpful tips and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.